What's up, everybody? We are Brain Wreck Improv. We're uh, going to be performing for a little bit tonight. Uh, hopefully, some of you were expecting us. If you weren't, uh, continue going about your business. Maybe enjoy a little bit of the show, or just, you know, pop earplugs in and hurt our feelings. Um, we're, uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different tonight. If you've been uh, watching us for the past few semesters slash years, we were doing a, uh, a form that we lovingly called the, uh, the sitcom. But we're, uh, we're going to be taking a little break from that so this semester. In fact, we're going to be breaking up with it. Which is funny if you knew the name of the form was The Breakup, which I should have told you beforehand. Uh, so, for this, uh, we are going to need suggestions from you guys. Have any of you never been to an improv show before that are not lying to me? So that makes one person who doesn't lie slash hasn't been to an improv show. Um, great, well, when you're at an improv show, uh, if a suggestion is asked, especially in this case, uh, I'll, I'll be like, what is your favorite color? Uh, since it's such a small room, I'm going to ask that you raise your hand and I will pick out an audience member. Uh, especially since, in this case, we're going to need something very special from you guys. We're going to need a story of a, uh, a very interesting breakup that you might have gone through. Uh, whether you broke up with the person, the person broke up with you, something uh, preferably an extravagant story with fun characters and such to go over. Uh, we're gonna go with we're going So wait, like right after you gave him the chocolates, yeah. he broke up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> did he break up with you in person or over Facebook Messenger? Over Facebook Messenger. Was he still right in front of you as he did it? No. <laughs> 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 he was walking out, and it, it felt like awkward, but he was like, maybe he's just an awkward person, but he was. Were you dating for like a long time before then? <laughs> so right. serious. <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right. Thank you. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. Uh, ha happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I got you this. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. This yeah. is so sweet. It's shaped like a heart because, you know, we're dating. <laughs> that's that's sweet. You you can have the white chocolate ones. I'm not much of a oh, fan. Oh, okay. Wrong? These are the best chocolates I've ever had. So much of tearing up. They're, there are walnuts in it. Are you allergic to walnuts? Oh god, I really hope not. <laughs> I love these so much. Thank you for these wonderful chocolates. Yeah, of course. I feel I feel so happy because of this. Hey, yeah. Uh well, anyway, there's the bell. We oh. should probably go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the chocolates, but I didn't really appreciate the white ones. So, I'm breaking up with you. Have a good Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Thank you. 
You know, man, so you take my suggestion, do a Facebook messenger. No consequences. <laughs> <laughs> that was the easiest thing I've ever done. Yeah. That's why I always dump my you know, week-long girlfriends over Facebook Messenger. No consequences. Man, Jerry, you're the coolest guy I've ever met. I rule this eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I, wish, I wish everything was so easy, you know? Just like sending everyone Facebook messages, telling them stuff. Because that I, I like not having to tell people stuff. That's what I do. I mean, yeah. when I don't, I don't want, when I don't want to hand in my homework, I just send a Facebook message, message to a. Hey there, Jerry. Uh, I just, I was just wondering, um, where's your uh, geology homework? Um, I have the class, I have the class homework right here, and. Uh, <laughs> that's strange. I normally turn off notifications. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're leaving now? <laughs> huh? Jerry, dear, have you cleaned your room yet? <laughs> you're going to Brad's house. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> You're staying at Brad's house for the night. Alright, son, license and registration. <laughs> <laughs> Sir! Sir, what are you doing? I'm sending you a Facebook messenger. I'm gonna need to... Put your hands on the wheel. You're gonna do okay. <laughs> <coughs> you took advice from Jerry? The dude's like seventeen years old. He hasn't been able to get out of the eighth grade yet. <laughs> That's what makes him so cool. What? No. He's a, he just sits outside the school every recess period and <laughs> You know what I told you about hanging out with that boy? What, Jerry? Oh. Bad influence. Are you kidding me? You can't be hanging around him, okay? You have a future. But he's the coolest kid in eighth grade. I could go up. Popularity. This is what I want. You don't want to peak in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's much too late for that. I saw some of his chest hair, and now I think I have a few growing. You know how much your father and I have sacrificed to get you into that school? Do you know how much we have suffered to try to, you know, have set up a good future for you? And you're just going to throw it all away by hanging out with that jerk? I'm not throwing it all away. You know, I'm just... Pushing this side. Right I've seen your grades. You know, I can see your grades, you know that. I've seen your grades. <laughs> Are you seeing these grades? I, <laughs> I tried talking to him about it. Don't listen to me. It's that Jerry kid he's hanging around with. I should teach him a lesson. We should. But have you seen these grades? <laughs> P.E.? How can you fail P.E.? <laughs> Martha, our child's become a problem. Dave, we need to do something about it. We should. Martha, I always love that we sort of make crazy adventures happen. In this case, it's fixing our child. <laughs> what a crazy adventure that is. Ah, just like marriage. <coughs> so what's the game so plan? So, I'm thinking we take him to a child psychologist. Or, we enlist them in the military. Oh. <laughs> you know, there, was, there was, I liked your idea. Let me hear what you have to say. I was gonna say a child psychologist, okay. right. um, and possibly advising him to get better friends. <coughs> um, Due to the compromise of your parents, I will be your psychological help professional. Please sit down. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me about your mother! 
<laughs> in concise sentences, I don't have a lot of patience. She she sacrificed so much. Sacrificed for my is grace. a long word. <laughs> is that good? I think so. I, I that's the only class I'm good in vocabulary. Vocabulary is also a long word. <laughs> One or two syllables. Now, I know your mother has been strict. Not, yeah. That's why she sent me here. Cause... Has she harmed you mentally? Because I won't anymore. <laughs> She doesn't like that I hang out with my friend Sherry. Sherry? Mm -hmm. That's the name of a delinquent if I ever heard one. <laughs> and this Jerry, does he influence you with drugs or alcohol? Or perhaps <coughs> emotional distance? <laughs> no, actually, we, we skip class all the time when we're driving and just hang out. It's the best time. That sounds like a delinquent thing to do. Hang out? Yes! What? Driving and hanging out. Also, you're skipping school. You explicitly told me that. <laughs> Drop and give me five. Uh, so how's your sessions with Sergeant Lou doing? <laughs> we, we, I, I, we were looking around for, you know, some psychologists and we saw that he had 20 plus years of military experience, oh. and it was just a perfect fit. Um, great great, choice, great choice, mom. So how's it, how's it going? Is it? It's it's good. I'm, I'm learning to speak um, with no more than two syllables. I mean, your vocabulary grade has always been so great. Um, so I, I mean, if it's a, if, that, if he's working on that with you, that would be that would be beneficial. He said it's to match the others. Are you seeing these grades? I, I just looked at them. I just can't believe that he's got A's and everything except vocabulary. Wait, what happened to him? He was always so great at vocabulary. I, Martha, I'm confused. I'm scared. I'm a bit shocked. This is a quick turn turnaround. That sergeant really gets results, but what's happened to our son? He's really fit. I mean, doing great in PE now. <laughs> That's makes me so proud. Maybe there is a future for him. Maybe there is. But what if he doesn't know what a word like, I don't know, hippopomonstrosidquipedaliophobia is? What if he doesn't know that word? What if that's relevant to his job in the future? A son with a failing vocabulary can only get so far. Martha, I'm worried. Dave. So, son, I hear you're having some troubles. That's why you're going to enlist in the military. Listen, I'm not a normal person. I care about feelings as well as physical strength. So instead of the physical reviews, we're going to just circle the face, which represents how you feel <laughs> uh, okay. inside. We're working on emotional strength. I used to be a therapist. What happened? I had to go military. And the sign is an important part of geometry, but you fucking kids don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> this class is so dumb, right? I don't get it at all. 
What's what is Soa Katoa? <laughs> I don't know. I learned a lot of vocabulary so I could say cool words like that. That's awesome. <laughs> so, hey, you, you you doing anything tomorrow? Well, tomorrow's Tuesday, so I'll be in school. <laughs> well, you don't have to go to school. What? I don't know. Uh, um, do you wanna? You want to hang out? Yeah. Sure. Really? Yeah. I'll bring my friend Jerry. He's got great advice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better be here tomorrow. The final practice for this year's intercollegiate junior spelling bee. <laughs> you can't miss um, tomorrow. You cannot. You right. have to be here. You're our strongest team player, okay? But, uh, you see, have you seen what we're working with? Do you know how hard it is for me to teach people how to spell? You just, it comes naturally to you. I don't understand. All these words, you just know all of them. You have, you, you're not allowed to compete unless you're here tomorrow. So, but I hope oh, you didn't make any plans. Can I? No, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> did he ask you out on a date? He did. And then he canceled? Yeah. Like, ten minutes later? Yeah. <laughs> he sent me a message on Facebook. <laughs> but, like, I understand he's really busy, and, you know, I haven't been anyone's girlfriend before, but if I want, if I'm going to be his girlfriend, I want to be, like, the chill girlfriend, you know? Chill. And the Russians invaded and got a... Who fucking cares? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, hon. Facebook? Facebook Messenger? You know, at least he has a Facebook profile. Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I had one, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, same. The age limit's 13. Yeah. And my birthday was two weeks ago. Can I tell you a secret? What's up? I'm still twelve. <laughs> <laughs> you know Mary. <laughs> yeah. What well, what about her? I come from Facebook. We're investigating some people that perhaps have lied, getting accounts, and uh, I was wondering if you could be a character witness. What would Mary lie about on her Facebook profile? See, it's very interesting. She posted on Facebook that uh, she's going to go to a, a party at her friend's house, but a party that only has 12-year-olds, and as you may, may know, with middle school, you don't mix ages. So leads me to believe that perhaps Mary is only 12. And the mitochondria is the powerhouse of cell, but nobody's paying attention! <laughs> Look, I appreciate your concern, but Mary is in eighth grade. She's, she's in our grade. I would assume she's 13, at least. Wanna play hardball, huh? Listen, I could offer you premium Facebook. <laughs> you didn't rat me out, did you? Are you okay? You didn't rat me out, did you? No, I didn't. I just told him that you were in eighth grade. I bet you did. Mary, what's, Mary, what's wrong? I can't go, I can't go back. I can't go back, King. You can't go back where? On Facebook? Detention. I can't go back. I'm telling you. It was awful in there. I thought I'd never get out. No, I, Mary, I've been there once. Oh my God, you have? Isn't it awful? It's terrible. 
They just make you. And class turns. They take away your phone. 32. I know. They just make you stare at the wall. <laughs> I couldn't update my status for an hour. Mary Llewellyn. <laughs> I'm not an hour. An hour. Mary Llewellyn. I don't know who that is. You're under detention. No! <laughs> no! Ten minutes, Dad! Ten minutes, Dad! Don't be ashamed. Sit down. <laughs> Happy day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> you look well. I found the chocolates in the trash. Oh my and now my love for you is in the trash. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. That Facebook you... Messenger? Really? It's the best way to get information out. Well, I'll have you know that I've rounded up a series of friends to bitch you out. <laughs> so this is the first of many. <laughs> oh God. Oh, Middle God. school girls are organized. <laughs> Mary, Beth, Sally, hi. No, hi, us. We're not them anymore. We're the gal pal of relationships past, the gal pal of relationships present, and the gal pal of relationships <laughs> A lesson. Really? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Winning at me. Winning at me. We're not touching you, so you can't get mad at that. <laughs> but it, it feels like you guys are, and I'm scared of that. Good. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Man, that sucks. Totally bitched you out on everything. You even got their fingers close to me. Yeah, no, I saw it on video. Dude, there's so many people with their phones out. It's like all over Facebook. <laughs> I look, do I look funny? You look funny looking. <laughs> like that old, that joke with the funny but funny looking. I'm in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, I know we're friends, but please don't touch her. It's okay. Jeez. I didn't know you were so, so, so touchy. Is that, is this trauma from when they almost touched you, but then didn't? Uh, well, that and considering I'm 13 and you're 17. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty treat. <coughs> I, I don't know, I, I kind of feel <coughs> weirded out, too. <laughs> Why are you looking at Jerry? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I guess I just, I must be... Going crazy, I, I don't know, maybe I'm looking at the screen too much. I can I could definitely see there's people over there. <laughs> there's no people. It's just a window. I just I don't know, I feel like a present. I feel like a present. <laughs> man, you're in some deep shit. <laughs> oh man, this is this is never going away for you. <laughs> oh, that's gonna God, follow Jerry, you. Jerry, what do I do? So by month three, um, all his friends are going to have left. Um, <laughs> the five-year plan is complete destruction of the eighth grade as we know it. <laughs> we, we only dated for two weeks. I feel like the three-month plan will do nicely. All right, but I spent a lot of time on this five-year plan. <laughs> hey, have you seen A Christmas Carol? Yes, I have. Do you think we could add that in? <laughs> oh, that would be fun! Yeah! That would be, oh, that would be super cool! Oh, man. Hmm. I love the Christmas Carol. Isn't that a nice... It's your favorite movie? It is my favorite movie. That's... 
Interesting. Don't <laughs> judge me. Listen, it's the eighth grade. Friendships turn around real quick. But back to this. We could have, like, the gal pal of Christmas. He's the teacher that nobody listens to. <laughs> <laughs> also, just thank you for paying attention. Thank you so much. I take notes sometimes. <coughs> really appreciate you owning a pen is an achievement for me. Thank you. But back to this. Um, we start the dating this home. Um, professor. Are we going to actually learn about geometry? SHUT UP! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one with the teaching degree? You. Goddamn right. Can I go to the bathroom? No! Okay. <laughs> Sit down, if you would please. Uh, yes, uh, Superintendent Christofferson? Look, I, uh, <laughs> some things have come to light, and, um, you can't keep teaching children how to backstab each other. I would do no such thing, Superintendent Look, my wife left me, all right, and I know it's you. <laughs> I'm trying to take it as easy as I can. But you're being too obvious about it. These kids, they're going home and telling their parents. We need to target the parents as well. I didn't say anything. <laughs> no. No, God, don't put anybody else on this. Please, my kids favored my wife. They're never seeing me again. I'm... You're a terrible administrator. <laughs> you deserve that. I know. And if I have to burn this school to the ground because a girl got her heart broken, I will. <laughs> bring, bring, bring. Why, yes, hello? <coughs> Professor, can you please explain to me why my child has art of war in her backpack? <laughs> 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 and that's our first half. <laughs> so we're going to take a song. I hit most of it. <laughs> second half. Uh, so for our second half, we're going to need a similar suggestion. In fact, I would say I want another breakup story from one of you guys. Preferably a different one. Um, <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll go. We'll go. So, wait, when, was this like after coming back from summer, you're like, hey. No, it was like, we, we went to the same church. And so we were talking. So, did he do this at church? Um, he did it at youth group. Uh, oh. So, it was in person? It was in person. Okay. Were you guys alone, or were you like, yes, to the youth group? Like, no, we were alone. In okay. front of the whole church. It was not in front of the whole church. But you, you didn't know that you broke up, and then you asked him, and he's like, yeah. No, it was more like we, not, neither one of us knew if we were still dating. And then he's like, no, I don't think so. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> After, like, four years, you're just <laughs> like, so how long, of a dip, how long have you not seen each other that after, like, four years? I like, mean, the first three were middle school. Okay. So was it like months in between the last time and then the breakup? I just yeah, want to sign that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry and thank you. <laughs> oh. Uh. Hey. By you. Great. You know, 
haven't uh, haven't seen you at the uh, the old youth group in a, in a while. Oh, half I wasn't I didn't come. Wow, that wow. <laughs> didn't see me. That was unintentional. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Body of Christ broken. <laughs> Body of Christ broken. <laughs> I don't know, Mrs. Sampson. I know you're the you're the youth leader, but uh, I, I don't know if this is the kind of thing I'm comfortable with talking about to people yet. That's okay. It's only been ten minutes. I understand. It was. I can still see him on the other side of the room. Yep, there he is. Good guy. And I like being a good guy. Am I really a good guy? I yes. <laughs> Thank God. So, waving again. I'm sorry, I can't stop. <laughs> and, and I realize that all throughout our relationship, three years. Four years, Mrs. Stanson, all he would give me was one word answers. I'm so sorry, honey. Stop! You know, it's a compulsion of mine. That's also a compulsion of mine. You've been playing the same chord the entire time. My finger is sore. My fingers are sore. They're cramping up. They're stuck. And I also lost my caper. So. I'm going to tell you, as your youth group advisor, that you're young. I'm going to remind you of that. And I know you two have been dating for a really long time. Yeah. And you shouldn't discount that just because it was in middle school. But, uh... Well, I mean... Well... Nobody really wants to peak in middle school, do they? <laughs> you really don't want to peak in middle school. Um, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. 
This is my first time at confession. Is anyone there? Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, my child. Uh, so, I don't, uh, you, can you, like, kind of walk me through this? I mean, this is, this is my first time, and it's Forbidden to look inside. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. That's three Hail Marys. Three? Three Hail Marys. <laughs> Father, I'm worried about my older brother. His general lack of apathy for human emotions frightens me. <laughs> well, I mean, that seems like... How are you doing? Are you doing okay? Are you? Do you need some water? You seem like you've been just a little down lately. I mean, you know, I've got just the thing. I've got some tea to make for you, just in case. Do you really? Yes, always, of course. Oh, thanks. Yeah, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Look, I just care so much about how you're doing and, <laughs> and about how your life is going. You, is that the news? It must be. Eight o'clock. Oh. Oh God! Oh. oh no! What the horror? That's oh God! Oh, that's awful! Oh! Oh no! Man. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like someone left too many candles on the church and. Now it's all burnt down, as you can see. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, we did all we could. Um, and as you can Charged see... remains of Christ burnt for you. <laughs> Charged remains of Christ burnt for you. <laughs> so crisp. Ashy. So are we gonna... We still do it in the area, or...? Afraid not, son. Um, we always have some. <laughs> hey. Neat. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I just want to tell you that, uh, you shouldn't really go back in until it's, you know, not wreckage. That's not safe for... Oh no, my doll. I put up security tape. I'm already making an exception for these two. I'm sure, I just got back there. God. Damn middle schoolers. <laughs> this is my doll I brought to Mass for Sunday. Oh, why did you leave it in a church? I was using the restroom and I just forgot it, I guess. I was supposed to take care of her doll. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Brother? Yeah. <laughs> Look, this is criminal negligence at least. I don't know if I can get you off for this. <laughs> this kid is bringing serious charges to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Um, look, I'm just a simple youth group leader, stay-at-home mother of two babes, and I just... And where are your children right now? They're with their grandmother. Your grandmother? Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? Yeah. If I were to call their My mom? Yes. Their grandmother? Yes. <laughs> They'd be there. She takes them every Wednesday because that's when the youth group is. I'm not getting anything. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. I'm, uh, I'm calling to ask about, uh, two little darlings you might be watching after. What are their names? Sarah and Joseph. Sarah and Joseph. I'm with their mother right now. Their biblical names. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're asking how they're doing? Oh, well, yeah. these little types are just amazing. They're, they're sleeping, you know. Uh, sleeping sound in the freezer, they're not making any noise. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, where are they sleeping? Oh, you know, I the crib seemed a little too small, so I put them in the freezer because it seemed just the right size. <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm going to put you. I'm so sorry you got arrested, Mrs. Sampson, but I think I, if it's okay with you, I think I'm ready to talk about Bobby now. 
<laughs> Go right ahead, sweetheart. But you're gonna have to use the phone. Oh. Uh. So he, Bobby dumped me after four years, and I don't know what to do. Honey, it's okay. We all kiss a lot of frogs before we find our prince. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I speak entirely in idioms. You're just going to have to figure it out for yourself, honey. And I know he was important to you. Four years is a very long time. But when was the last time you saw him before Wednesday? Uh, when school let out. Oh. That's a real long time. Yeah. It's starting to get cold. Yeah. Look, honey, I know it's good that you're feeling what you're feeling. Is it? Because it feels yeah. awful. It does feel awful. Why is that good? Because it means that that you that you have empathy. It means that you care. <laughs> I'm really sorry they took your actual guitar and gave you a fake, by the way. Yeah, it only has one string, but that's okay. <laughs> as long as I have the power of music, nothing can get me down. And honey, you need to find your power, whether it be music or some other dumb hobby. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to be okay. It can't be Bobby? No, Bobby can't be your hobby, honey. <laughs> I think I'm done with this visit. <laughs> Uh, uh, thing. Good. How's, uh, how's AC Chem? Hard. Boy, I, boy, is it hard. I heard. Oh, so, but how, how, I mean, how are your sophomore year going? Uh, all right. Wow. That is so great. Awkward conversation pieces of Christ. <laughs> Sold out to you. Awkward conversation pieces of Christ. Give it to you. <laughs> so I should probably tell you that yeah. I'm yeah. dating Stacy now. Oh, for her. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> nice. Nice. No. That's great. Yeah, I just thought I'd you know, let you know. Yeah, that's you know. a great thing that I really wanted to know. How you're, uh, yeah. How you're I'm just doing. trying to be honest. You're, no, you, uh, you're fine. Am I fine? Because you sound a little bit upset. I am upset. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of upset. Well, fine. Fine. Jeez. This is about, this is about the time that someone would walk in with, like, the little blood of, you know, Christ or whatever. I'm surprised that guy's still kicking. <laughs> yeah. He was, like, he was, like, 80-something when, when we were... I mean, he you know. escaped that fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jump right out of the fucking he was window. In there with, <laughs> with the the thing, with the with the little bread. Yeah. I mean, all things aside, between us, that was really cool. Yeah. No kidding. Holy shit! I mean, we sat in the area that almost killed him when we broke up. Yeah. Man, you're gonna see it come around. We can refund you your kid. I know your kid didn't want ketchup, okay? We we, we have a, a missed order over here. Can we get someone on the grill, please? Yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll, I'll refund you. Sorry about that. Is there is there anyone working in here? What what are you, what are you doing? Just standing around. What I thought. I have to hire delinquent kids like you all the time, and you did nothing but just Sorry. sit around. There's, sorry, a, there's my, an angry mother out there, and her, ch and her child's got someone put ketchup on her cheeseburger. Sorry, sir. Uh, my mind was somewhere else. Um, what? New cheeseburger, New right? cheeseburger. No cheeseburger, ketchup. Right. No, no, I swear no to God, ketchup. I put ketchup on a cheeseburger.
<laughs> you know, you have n you have no idea how many times we have to do this thing where they come around again, and they have to see my face. Right. I'm not even the one that made a mistake, but I'm the one that has to get paid for it. You know? well, I'm kind of glad. You better be paying minimum wage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honey, is that you? Oh, hi. How was your first day at work? Bad. Bad? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, um, there's youth group tonight. Do you want to go? Oh, great. Awkward. You know, um, you know Warren, our family friend. Yeah. I actually used to date him. Really? Mm -hmm. And um, it was awkward for a really long time. So, uh, <laughs> how are you? Oh, um, I'm good. That's great. <laughs> I just got engaged. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. It's been a while since we've seen each other. How are you and Stacy doing? Uh, that didn't work out. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, how's your inner turmoil about the existence of God going? I struggle with that every day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs> <laughs> 